Friday night, college football slate. We have a game between East Carolina and BYU, 8 p.m. Eastern time kickoff on ESPN2. Total of 62 in this one. BYU is a three-point favorite. A lot of interesting games here for BYU since they're, you know, independent, not playing in a conference. A lot of fun matchups here on their schedule. And this East Carolina game is no different with a small spread here. Yeah, how about East Carolina traveling from Greenville, North Carolina, which is way out there by the Atlantic Coast. They're going to Provo, Utah. That is an interesting, interesting spot for the Pirates. Um, And I think that spot is so interesting. That's why we're seeing BYU favored by three points. Um, Last outing, East Carolina, like, handed it to UCF. Totally unexpected out. I think one of the, the most surprising outcomes of the weekend, East Carolina is a, a good team. They're, they're playing good football this year. And then the other really surprising uh, outcome this week was BYU got hammered by Liberty on the road. Hammered. It was 41 to 14. Um, BYU's defense is a real problem. They're 129th in success rate, 119th in EPA per rush allowed, 127th in passing success rate allowed. The, the list just goes on this and they're getting worse. I, I think the wheels have completely fallen off this defense and that's something East Carolina might be able to capitalize on. Holt Naylor's uh, quarterback for East Carolina playing well. He's thrown 18 touchdowns and just five interceptions. Uh, the 18 touchdowns that's matched his last year's total already um, through just eight games, which again, East Carolina playing really good football. I like them a lot. If you look at their team total props, East Carolina, uh, the over for 29 and a half for them is actually juiced and BYU's total of 32 and a half is actually juiced toward the under. So if you kind of, uh, project that out, BYU is really only favored by two. If you look at their implied total, which flawed way of looking at it, but it's interesting at the very least. Uh, the aggregate power ratings, which include SP plus FBI, FEI, Sagra, and a few others, they actually favor East Carolina by a point and a half on the road. And I think it's because BYU's defense really is that bad. Now, Lavelle Edwards Stadium and Provo, tough, usually, sorry, usually a tough place to play. The teams have had no issue scoring there this year. So I think I'm going to take East Carolina. And you can actually find, uh, as of Wednesday afternoon, morning-ish, you can find a three and a half at points bet. Maybe it'll flash somewhere else. If it jumps to three and a half, I'm absolutely diving on it. But I am considering taking East Carolina plus three. It's also a juice three and a half if that points bet one is gone. Uh, There's also a juice three and a half at FanDuel as we record. But threes across the board now. So this is moving towards that that flat three. And even then, I still find value on East Carolina because I saw what you saw where on a neutral field, the metrics, the, the projections have East Carolina better here. And you mentioned the, the defense for BYU. And, you know, if, if East Carolina is about two and a half point favorite on a neutral field with these two teams, BYU does not have five and a half points worth of home field here. Like, that's not a thing. So it's, it's not the easiest place to go play in Provo, Utah. But and it's a long trip for East Carolina. Uh, but this this seems mispriced to me. If we're getting the key number of three or better here, I think that seems like a pretty solid bet, right? Yeah, I like it. And and to be to be clear that that favoring of ECU by one and a half points is, is actually including them playing right. on the road. So it's right. interesting, interesting spot to look at. <laughs>